Downtown El Paso, where Venezuelan migrants Abraham and Alejandro are resting in the shade from the Texas heat. They've been in town for three weeks, two refugees among thousands permitted into the U.S. to begin the asylum process. A lot of people are coming across the border. I've seen between 1,000 and 1,500 a day, but I have to leave. I have to go to Chicago to appear in front of a judge to see if they'll let me stay. These migrants are among nearly half a million Venezuelans recently assigned temporary legal status in the US, allowing them the right to work while they go through the asylum process. As they head to Illinois, they hope to be able to earn enough to support themselves and their families back home. I was able to find some work this week to send to my family. That's the first time I've earned anything since I went on the migrant trail. With thousands of refugees arriving here daily for local authorities, it's a matter of processing the arrivals and moving them on quickly. From downtown's Union Plaza, 12 buses departed on this day, paid for by the state of Texas, offering migrants rides to distant U.S. cities. Buses from here leave for Denver, Chicago and New York. It's a way of stopping migrants from getting stuck here in El Paso and helping us move on to other parts of the country. With shelters here full and many forced to sleep on the streets, for refugees like Liliana Gonzalez with her three-year-old son, she's ready to accept any bus that gets them away from this saturated border town. The only thing we want is to move on, just to reach our goal. Just reaching the U.S. has been so difficult, and especially with a baby. As an adult, you can withstand hunger and exhaustion, but it's too hard on the kids. While buses take these asylum seekers to their next destinations, there's little sense of relief at the border. As migrants here in El Paso board buses that will take them on to distant cities across the United States, thousands more refugees are arriving on the Mexican side of this border town as the migration crisis continues unabated. Alastair Bavastock, CGTN, El Paso, Texas.